We're gonna go ahead and get started. Oh my gosh. We did? You didn't. <laughs> my name is Molly. Oh, That's Kathy. Kathy. And together, we're living in scraps. scraps. Oh. And these are videos about cross stitch mostly. Mm -hmm. And a few other crafts and things. We definitely have uh, multiplied. We spread our wings. We're, I'm t we've made a mess. <laughs> and uh, speaking of a mess, we've been talking and visiting for the last 35 or 40 minutes in a shopping together online. <laughs> and now it's like we have to regroup and compose ourselves. So the room's a hot mess, but it, we're going yeah. to try. Yeah, we're, we're good. Life is good. Kathy has some wonderful, wonderful I have some things different she's going to share today. Yeah, I brought some different things today. Um, you know, it's funny because you go home and after you tape and you think, well, what are we going to show for next time? And what are we going to get finished? And how much cross stitching will we get? And how much haul is going to come in? And then we, you know, you think, do we... Do we have enough and and of course you're always hoping that we maintain your interest for the entire time that we're here um, so anyway we've got some things I've been a little bit at the sewing machine um, I want to talk about my stand that's so beautiful it's a work from work. it's a work W work. stands and um, been in touch with him and, and they're beautiful so we'll talk about that in a little bit I got some cool haul Beautiful fabrics. My husband took me up to read also. Got a story. Uh, we've got stories. Now, do you want to go ahead? Do you have some, uh, let's do our cross stitches first. Okay. In case that's what you came for. Okay. We can do that. Well, then maybe you, cross stitch and haul. Cross stitch and haul. Cross stitch and haul. Cross stitch okay. and haul. Okay. So do you so have any uh, I, I have a finishes little, or whips? I, or? I have a whip. Um, the one that I, did you hear that? The bell. Oh. <laughs> Goes on my bell. lamb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> An angel gets his wings. I didn't do a whole lot more stitching on Martha Swallow, but I did um, start working on that. I want to get the verse done, which is over one, and I do do a full cross when I stitch my over ones um, cross stitching. I like to be legitimate, if you will, and authentic and all those good things, but I absolutely love it. And this is Martha Swallow. Um, this is uh, a hands across the sea design. It was put out for... Uh, the month of May and yeah you can see the name up on top there uh, I changed the colors horribly this is actually Queen of May by the way which I'm sure there will be another one coming out um, the colors are my own choices and I know a couple of you commented that you're gonna die if I don't <laughs> if I don't give you your... what I'll do is I will put all the colors that I've chosen to use on Martha Swallow but I don't have them like connected to the key. Do you know what I'm saying? Like oh, I don't but, have L is now straw hat or I don't have anything written down because I'm just going by the picture. That's how different I am doing my design. And you can see why, because I chose this linen that I need to um, make it look like the picture I saw. So I'm choosing colors that I think will work well on the linen because we all know colors change with one or two strands um, on a darker color linen like that. So, Did you mark your things with any kind of key on your? No, I I'm a strip. No, no. I have a. I'm going to ask you a question. No, you'll no know this is what I'm using, and here's the picture that I saw that I was like drooling over. Look at all those colors. Yeah, that there's a ton of colors, and honestly, it may call for a color. And if it doesn't look like that other picture in that area of the color, I'm doing my own thing. So, okay, I have swallow. a question about yes, this. They have a symbol here. I'm not supposed to be showing the. Oh, I'm not showing the. Yeah, you're not showing. Okay, they have a symbol and three numbers after the symbol. What's that oh, about? Oh, so she's got two types of silks there, and then the DMC. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I'm just going. And what you can do is pull your DMC. And if, for those of you that have not ever ordered the DMC. Uh, trifold or quadfold card that has the actual thread mm -hmm. in it, pull that out and then you can go to your box of colors and match up to the DMC close enough. That's heavenly. And mm -hmm. honestly, I mean, everybody's talking about stitching from stash. Stitch from stash. Because really, the overdyes, we all know the dialogues change so dramatically from one store to the next, one, sh one shade to the next, that if you needed six well, strands you, or six skeins, you should buy them all at the same time if you're looking for that. Otherwise, it's not going to really matter. Mm -hmm. Not going to really matter. Kathy, so, that's beautiful. That's my swallow lady. 
So that is beautiful. That's, and that is the only, as you all know, that is the only. She's a monogamous stitcher. So and I get them done. You know, I'm getting she them gets done. Them done. And she got the cranberry bog yeah, done last time. That was and so I'm pretty. so sorry, but that cranberry bog has so much historical information about a cranberry bog. I meant to read that to you. So another time. I'll bring that sampler back and the graph and just tell you a little bit about the cranberry bogs and how they used to pull them and the different brands and who got them here first, yada, yada, yada. It's holding it, you know, can of worms kind of thing with it. But very, very interesting Wisconsin information. So, yeah. so she showed this huge hanks of uh, thread, right. which were just delicious looking. Yes. And she's just picking the colors that yeah. she wants to yeah. go with the thing. Yeah. Okay. Now this is nowhere in comparison close to it, but it's kind, it's kind of in the same ballpark. I'm doing Mary's Sampler, which was out of a magazine. That's so pretty, Molly, too. And there was a new sampler that came out that some people are doing that I fell in love with, and it had the orange um, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. baskets. Yeah, and, and the you like the... Mm -hmm. And then I found this in a magazine. I did see on Etsy two or three people have... They're not the whole magazine. I think they've copied it out of the magazine or torn it out of the magazine, cut it out of the magazine or something. But they have this pattern on Etsy and a couple of different, or Ebays and stuff like that. So it's Mary Sampler. Let me show you the whole thing looks like this. I'm so sorry. This it's is, really, and it's not, it doesn't look like it's going to be a, a horrible stitch. No, I just want to get past the berries. Yeah. Because the reason is, so I pulled just colors. I went in my stash and I pulled colors. Now they had a color key and some listed some colors you could pull. Well, I didn't, I wanted to use my over dyes. And, yeah. and they called for a thread that was called Persian, not Persian, but something, Permian, Persian, something. And I don't even know what that is. But uh, old, this pattern, the book was old. It's okay. old. It was out of a book that someone gifted me. Thank you so much. Anyway, so I just went in my stash and pulled colors that look looked like. And look at how like, pretty that is. They're so pretty. But brilliantly, I did not mark my thing with the uh, key right. to what stitch I was doing. Right. So there is a huge chance, <laughs> a bigger than huge chance, that the berries on this side will not exactly look like the berries Imagine on this that. side. But isn't that fun? Well, they, yeah, they riped, they ripen into different stages. But anyways, I'm mm -hmm. loving this. And this one isn't over dyed. It just happened because of the stitch count. The, the lighter color fell in the middle. I said, well, that just looks like the sun's hitting that urn. There you go. But anyway, so this is my whip that I'm working on that I'm loving right now. Wow. I did oh. a Hands Across the Sea design, Esther Benson. And my apples on the tree, because it's an Adam and Eve sampler, were golden. But I had this most beautiful golden to orange to gold over dyed thread. And I, I don't know if it was Nicola, because she's the designer that asked me about the apples, and I'm like, well, my tree is full of golden delicious. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I get to pick My it. apples are not red or pinkish or, you know, that ga mm -hmm. gala apple type looking. They are golden delicious. And honestly, it's probably one of my, it's the one that's on blue. It's on my mantle. Mm -hmm. I love that one. In fact, it's on, I think, our screen, our uh, an initial... I don't know, one of them. So the moral message to today is pull from your stash. Stitch from stash. And just do, and someone do made, thing. someone noted when I said that, about just do what your eyes love. You know what I mean? Yeah. To me, my eyes just tell me, oh, I like that. Yeah. So on that note, uh -oh. my second whip that I'm trying to work on was that free pattern from the Solitary Stitchers. If you oh, go yeah. on Facebook yep. and Lot get the Solitary the, Stitcher, you're going to see this free pattern. And mm -hmm. it's so it's pretty. Beautiful. It is, mm. It's, uh, I'm going to try to read backwards, Mary Jane Fry, 1861, and I love the colors on it. And again, she gave you a, um, you know, key, sure. and told you I'll to pull the colors, and I pulled, I think they were DMC, and I pulled some of the colors, but then I pulled some over dyes, and uh, here's the colors to it. Very pretty. Aren't they pretty? Mm -hmm. You know, now, I already, my eyes are telling me they don't like this. I this leaf and stem are supposed to be two different colors okay. of solid DMCs. But because I was using an over dye, I thought, well, oh, I'm yeah. going to use just that one just color ivy. But mm -hmm. I'm not loving the color. Can you see it? Yeah, I can. I actually don't mind it. It's leaf. And, it's and I'm going to be adding the burgundy mm -hmm. flowers and the rose flowers. I was flowers, just going to so say, sometimes when you don't like something or think you don't, sometimes you just got to stitch your way through it and you end up liking it in the end. You know, in the end. 
I think you've got to get enough in there. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, yeah. what I thought I would do is instead of continuing with the vine anymore, I'm going to go ahead and drop in some of the flowers Yeah. and see if that doesn't yeah. perk it alive yeah, for me now. But, yeah, but the moral to the story, again, we're on a mission today, Stitch from Stitch. Stash. So I pulled the two or three DMCs that I had, and then I pulled over dyes. Very pretty color. I mean, I, look at all just of them beautiful. together. But if you look at the picture, that's the kind of colors sure. that's the tone that, that it you're is. For. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna like it when I it's think finished. So too. And it looks easy to me. I mean, this looks like an easy sample. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna take a lot of open long. background space. Yeah. I like that. I so, think they call that negative space. A lot of negative space. Yeah. That's all right. Mary Jane Fry, 1861, the solitary stitcher on Facebook. And it's a free pattern. So what a gracious gift she gave us. Very nice. sharing that. So thank you so much for that. Okay, that's my two whips that I'm like that you're whipping. I'm through. determined. Well, I'm not whipping. I'm not flying, but uh, you're whipping. Through. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm not <laughs> flying, but I'm trying. Okay, so that's my uh, whips. Okay, you don't have any other whips. Do you have any finishes? Do my project base count as finishes or no? I think we take a vote. Her project bags count as finishes. Yes. <sighs> I, oh you know, Molly and I have talked about doing project bakes like the last three or four videos. And one of us is being lazy. Well, and I... And one of us is not. Brought down my sewing machine. I thought, I'm just going to get through this. There, I had ten of them by my feet, by my sewing machine upstairs. And I thought, if I don't focus and get at these things, they're going to be there another year. And at the end of the day, <clears throat> you know, I want... I don't sew them, or I don't sell them. I don't sew them for people because I put too much time and effort into them. Mm -hmm. I hand stitch everything. You know me. Oh yeah. We talked about that. Molly and I did. Anyway, so I had machine embroidered this beautiful little piece first. Let me look at this for a Isn't minute. Isn't that pretty? It says thread, silk, and I've got a cool fob and the fabric on the back is wonderful. I'm so jealous. So I made that into a bag and the backing on that is just gorgeous. The back side. Isn't that beautiful? And then, we, of course, we had to have a little flossy bag. Hold on, <laughs> Molly, hold on. Kitty cats are... <coughs> I sneezed already here. Usually, I only do that once. So, uh, there's a story here. My mother-in-law had stitched this. It was, a, it was a piece just sitting by my sewing machine for, I kid you not, for the last, gosh, you know, since she passed away. And it was all frayed on the edges, and I thought, what can I do with that? And I stitched well, my I project more. bag. I know. I love so it my little mother-in-law's got a little piece of so it kind of matches. This yes, I don't know if y'all appreciate like this is act real. It's that's lace. It's lace over ribbon. But look at all the embroidery, yeah. the machine embroidery work. Oh my stars! And I love the machine embroidery. There's a, the, yeah, there's a place for it. Yeah, there's a place. Definitely a place for my house. It. Oh, yeah. no, that's, not the, that's not the place she meant. And then I had oh bought God. a pattern um, from Etsy, and at the time when I bought the pattern, oh yeah, isn't that cool? Look at the charm. That's neat. Kathy, you kill me. You kill me. They all have to have charms. You know, you always have to have a Look beautiful pull. That was a Hobby Lobby one for sure, that I know. And this one here says Embrace Change. Oh my God. So then, um, way back when, and I don't know when foxes were popular, I guess. I jumped on the bandwagon and I machine embroidered this box because I had this fabric that I loved. So you got a little fox there, and, and then of course you have the fox and the hedge girl, hedge, <coughs> hedgehog on the bow. Isn't he cute? And then I made a little flossy bag to match. And there's a little hedgehog there too, with the fox fabric. And there, okay, so what I'm gonna tell you guys, they're all lined. This design, now the last four little bags that I showed you, if you go to Celeste Creates, her oh, project her. bags, the best tutorial. And the other thing, too, I want to tell you a little and bit. And she's a doll. Yeah, she's very doll. nice gal. But her tutorial to do these zippered lined bags is fantastic. Um, and I open that one up no matter how many bags I've made just so that I can just get a refresher. Um, I know we all kind of jumped on the bandwagon with the vinyl. I will tell you a couple things that is bad about the vinyl. I bought, well of course your patterns will stick mm -hmm. to the vinyl eventually and that print will come off. Okay, so now you've got 
a print on your vinyl on the inside. So what I had been doing then is putting my patterns into either a page protector or actually leaving them in the actual container that it comes in and putting mm -hmm. in so that the ink doesn't come off and mm -hmm. attach itself to the vinyl. The other thing that I did from our something woods, he does the wood um, winders, our something woodwork, and I wasn't prepared to bring that one with me, but I had those, I had a set of three beautifully done, beautifully stained, and wouldn't you know when I pulled it, pulled out this bag that I wanted to use my winder, the winder stuck to the vinyl and took the finish off of my beautiful wood winder. So what you're saying is be careful with the vinyl. I, why, mark, you, you can see. mark your bag and with a tag and see what's in see it what's that way. In. You yeah. can do it that way because I think there's just too many things that can't get wrecked. There's a place for it, no doubt, but these bags are fun to make. They're easy. Celeste Creates has a wonderful uh, YouTube floss tube to do that. So anyway, anyway, then how many of y'all have charms at home of foxes and hedgehogs? <laughs> I, I don't. I but know. Kathy did. Kathy does. That is just amazing. That is amazing to me. I've collected them for such a long time that. You Isn't he cute? He's just a doll baby. Just cute. I know. He's sweet. He makes me smile. Then last time, I brought this pattern. This is an online pattern. The name of the designer is on the bottom. The Hemingway Pouch and Center Street Quilts. Okay. So Molly's looking at it going, what do you do? Oh, I don't know. This thing's on an angle. But I will tell you, I made this bag, and it is so easy to make. So the cool thing about this is, if you want to, un isn't that cute? I have to look at all this I know, the charm. It's a cat. And the ribbon. Yeah, the ribbon matches really and, nice. the and this is machine embroidery, embroidery too. Well, that, that I did. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that I machine embroidered probably, I don't know, two years ago. It's been sitting by my feet at my sewing machine. And like, it's lined, sort of. But you bind, you do a little binding on the seam. Let me show you. So you have a binding, <gasps> you bind the seam inside so you don't have any raw edges but the cool thing about this is now you can get zipper tape obviously at any well, I don't know if you can get it at Joanne's I never tried I just bought mine online but at some some of the more uh, better if you will fabric stores have zipper tape so this I got on Amazon the cool thing about this is, is that if you take your zipper tape so say you have a yard of it depending upon how big your pouch is going to be um, you pull it apart, and of course the zipper tape that I bought has the poles that come with it, so they match the zipper. They're separate. Yeah, okay. they're, they come with it. I know what I'm saying, they're, they're, they're separate from, from the, the tape. tape. Yeah. Okay. The cool thing about this is, is that you only use half the zipper tape. So in other words, one end, if you cut 36 inches, you pull it apart, you put one side away, wrap it up, put it up in your sewing and whatever, the other one you're going to use and you start from here sew it on because this is open this is one big piece at first okay you sew it on keep sewing and then when you fold this little corner over all of a sudden you have two zippers that are towards each other and then you attach your pull to those raw ends and look at that voila it's the coolest darn pattern it's the Hemingway and you've got to try it. Now, you could definitely make this um, thicker, a little bit more stability if you wanted. I didn't care. You know, mm -hmm. I'm going to put patterns in there and my, my magnetic pad or whatever. But the whole idea of this Hemingway one that I think is awesome is you use the zipper tape, but you only use half of it mm -hmm. because it's going from here and around to there. But when you're sewing it on, you're sewing it on as one big piece. Mm -hmm. Now, you've cut the angle the way they tell you to cut it from four inches, five inches down to the corner, and that's where you're gonna sew your binding on in your tape, in your uh, zipper tape. But isn't that cool? Isn't it cute? It's incredibly cute. cute. And my brain is still struggling Trying to wrap to figure around it out. It, and yeah. it's so easy. I mm -hmm. And I don't want you to get hung up on it at that point because I think there's, this is easy, Molly. You can do it. I can do it. You can and do you know it. I went out and bought vinyl, clear vinyl. Look, I'm looking. I know. Now I went you out and bought, bought vinyl. vinyl. Now she's telling me. I think the clear vinyl's place for me would be when you're doing quickie little smalls. 
Yeah. You know, and you're in it. You're not. They're not that's in there. Gonna long, sit. But, but if you're going to store them in, you could always yeah, make you know. a cute paper scrapbook type tag right on there. What's your, mm -hmm. you know, what's in your project bag? But love that one. And I will help you do this. I would appreciate I will help that. You. I will my come brain over and do this. Mind. Yeah. Then, um, so you, I was gifted two hands across the sea towels. And you know who you are. <laughs> so I had them quilted by our local quilt gal. Her name is Karen, and she is she does quilting here in El Paso. So if y'all are looking for a, a quilt quilter, long arm quilter, she quilted my towels for me. So they were raw edged all the way around four, and I had to figure out how. Then I used beautiful French general on the inside. Okay, so now it's a beautiful quilt job. But it's like, oh, but if I lined a bag, I'm going to lose my beautiful fabric and not see the quilting on the inside. So right. it's like, how can I put this together? How can I piece this together? Cut the towel up, the mm -hmm. quilted towel up, where I can get a, a, a bag that um, doesn't lose a lot of the design from the bag. So this was one of the Hands Across the Sea designs. And I managed to cut it all up where I have the inside is just as it was is quilted. Is the back of that? Yeah, is the back quilting. of the quilted, what she did, and then you can turn it around. So then I scout, I uh, I did the edges. I took a bowl, a stainless steel bowl, and curved the edges. And of course you cut your bias on the, or your, your uh, trim trim on, on the bias so that and it will go around. And um, Kathy, that is just. Now, Molly, look at the flower you gave me. Oh yeah, yeah. A wonderful lady had gifted yeah. me uh, oh. in for my flowers. for my scrapbooking days. Uh, these beautiful crocheted flowers. And look how and it's I gave perfect. Kathy one. Yeah, it's perfect for. It. it matches it perfectly. It does. So that Kathy. is one of the hands across the sea towels. That and I, I love did. that you, um, you know, got it so that it's facing up, facing yeah. up. Yeah, I, you have to because the towels go all one way. So you got to figure out how in the heck am I going to get this where it's beautiful on every side on and then sides, oh by yeah. the way now I got to worry about not uh -huh. covering up the inside and you had enough French general material left over yeah. to make the binding to make the, the binding mm -hmm. okay that's pretty so not only did we have one towel to think through but we had two so this one is also gifted from me and I love a zippered I don't know what you call these things project it's really not a project bag it's a it's like a binder pouch kind of thing mm -hmm. So this was another towel that I had to think through. How can I piece this together so that I don't lose the beautiful fabric on the end? I did put the elastic. I like to have that little stable elastic, and it's fold-over elastic. Again, you can get this on Amazon. How can I get this to be um, quilted on the inside as well so I don't cover it all up, the beautiful fabric that? So I, I cut it like this. I, this is the back, and I did have to add on a little piece here so I covered my seam with just a decorative sewing piece and I made a handle because I know y'all girls like the handles <laughs> and then I made two pockets actually there's like three pockets in there so I have a big pocket for my pattern a littler pocket for maybe my floss this is my winder and then this even fits my scissors in here and then if I want to really read about her I've got a I put it this way because I wanted to get the border. If I had tr flipped it, I would have lost. Oh, cute! I would have lost so much of it. Good so thinking. You text. gotta. I, my husband's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "I'm thinking." <laughs> oh, see, he, doesn't see, <laughs> he doesn't see her thinking often. Uh, no. Is. And okay. then these buttons, are they not the coolest? And how perfect they are with this fabric. And guess where I got them at? Where? Martha's. Oh my God! Did you just? On yeah, your recent trip. Yeah, my recent I'm trip so at jealous. Martha's. I know we need to go. We have to go. My husband said, "Didn't you take Molly up here?" I said, "Yeah, I yeah. took Molly up there. We let's went go. To the first, let's yeah, do. let's do that." Um, so that one's done now too. Beautiful. I love the beautiful design on the outside, and then I was able to salvage the pieces on the inside. And you kind of got to think it through. There's no doubt about it. It's it's definitely time consuming, and um, those are my project. Bags. I have a couple more at home that I'm like, I'm, you know, my sewing machine is downstairs. It's still a disaster at my house because there's threads everywhere and pins and needles. Please keep track of your pins and needles. Oh, because yeah. we talked about that. My dog, my mother-in-law's dog swallowed a needle. Uh -huh. My son swallowed a pin. 
So just, she's dangerous. 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 Got to keep track of Kathy, so now those I go are crazy. Stunning. Those but are yeah, absolutely thanks, stunning. Thanks, Molly. I enjoy making them. They're I've got they're fun. My sewing machine. So out, did I encourage I you now? Yes. And, and I'll I, come over if you want me to come over. I will come over. And I don't have any. I don't have zippers like that. Oh, I have you regular zipper team. I have regular zippers. Oh. First, I need to use the tapes and zippers. Like, I mean, the zippers. I need to make some project bags. That's all there yeah. is. So okay. anyway, okay. So I, that is that's, that. So that was we did whips. Yeah. And, and finishes. And finishes. Okay, I've got a couple of finishes. I'm so okay. excited. And I, when yeah. I say a couple, that's it's a hall, couple. Hall and this is hall, and then my stand. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So pretty. Okay, I'm going to show you my finishes. Yes. And uh, <clears throat> this was the little Robin That's Pickens. So sweet. Oh, it's got glass on it. So, you, uh, is that good? Okay, it's yeah. the Robin Pickens. This is the uh, seasonal couriers, and this is summer. Yeah, and it's that's, a blue jay, which I love. And we're in El Paso, and to me, this one just looked like the beautiful summer. Isn't that? I you know it. what? Let's call this the bird that sings to us every morning. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. We Absolutely. should name him. I know. No kidding. He's uh, the song that I'm assuming it's a he because he's pretty. He's pretty. Okay. So. And you're saying that when she says sings to us, it sounds like we're living together. So, no, she lives next, <laughs> right door, next door. And he's an active little fella. So he is. He I is was loud. To tease you. So I went to. Uh, you know, one of our favorite stores in town here is uh, Basil Court. Wednesday. Oh yeah! Did you go? You went. I did, and it was, oh. we had a one of the clubs. I'm president of. Oh, you, you know, went then. And we I had our coffee there, so there was mm -hmm. a bunch of women in this mm -hmm. thing, and all. And she's a doll. Well, she's actually going to be fixing up a little gift basket for us for our uh, upcoming giveaway. fiesta party that we're having, and all. And so she, she's. I said, when are you going to be open again between now and then? And she's going to be open. She said, well, Molly, I can bring it to your house. <gasps> you and Kathy could be filming, and I could ring the bell, and you could go, oh, oh who's there? Oh, it's <laughs> so She's a doll. The cat yeah. is a doll. She's but anyway, the nice moral to the story is, yeah. that's a finish. So I was so excited. Yeah, we need to name that bird. He, he's, yeah. He's, but yeah. anyway, that he's a, okay. he's, he that's a let beautiful you know. finish. Now, uh, you really, you really, you really cranked that one out. Well, and, and I'm been, looking at it. I've been you working, know how much I'm enjoying, but it's. I showed you two whips, but I've been working the on the colors. Six. Are beautiful. I just love it. I love yeah. it. I really do. And the other ones, I think there's four in the thing. They're yeah, all the Robin. Uh, the I love one them I all. Have. I love them all. Uh, yeah. Kathy and Helen D and several yeah. y'all are doing uh, the spring one. Yeah. And it's pretty. I think okay. Helen D's got hers done. Yes, We're going to talk does. about Helen D. Okay. Now on the subject of Helen D, which mm -hmm. Kathy's going to talk about mm -hmm. in a minute. Kathy's going to talk about a bee sew along. Uh -huh. And uh, Paisley and Polka Dot had a cute little birdhouse that you, they, uh, Helen D and uh, the lady from uh, that place showed how to crackle it and how to paint it. Well, I have to go on there and I have to look for this. Uh, this thing look, is not my cleavage. I keep looking for what I'm saying. No. <laughs> Can you say cleavage? I said I don't have that much. upper garment last time. <laughs> I don't have that much. But anyway, it's distracting. Distracting. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so uh, I go on Paisley and Polka Dots, and I'm looking for she's this. she's looking for this. I'm looking for the we'll birdhouse. talk about it. She's However. Yeah, beehive. Some, beehive hut. What did I say, birdhouse? Yeah, beehive. Because like, we got birds the on bee the thing. Okay, well, and I think um, one of y'all wonderful women last year had told me, go look on Paisley and Polka Dots for this. Well, as I'm looking through there, I had my goal in February was to fit, fully finish all the things that I had finished last year but hadn't fully finished you know hadn't ffo'd okay. kind of thing. well so while i'm on paisley and polka dot i found the perfect witch for i only had two things oh, left yeah. to fully finish and yeah. two things left to fully she finish she knew what she wanted and one of them was uh, a chart from no uh, rona's designs um and mm -hmm. this witch could be bribed with candy you see me looking over there so i found the perfect it's, it's really cute. it's like she designed it for me I swear mm -hmm. I didn't see this last year. It may have been there. <laughs> she but saw you is, on Floss Tube. Isn't it's this adorable. the cutest thing? And I can't it's believe like, it's all done. Oh, honey, the day I got it in, I painted that little sucker. Uh, and, uh, I think it's, done. it's the exact size I needed. Is that cute? See, this this purple, pu purple part is glued on top of the other part. That's very Isn't cool. Isn't that darling? Yeah. Each little piece is a separate you little piece. You could put a candy dish in front of it. Well, I'm going to, girl. Yeah. That's what it's Where is your candy That's dish? what I'm. Okay, so we're gonna die. Oh no, for a I love to have a piece of candy. We're gonna we're gonna, she, my candy candy dish. Candy we're gonna digress it. for a minute. Two important notes on uh you know we like sharing recipes and stuff good. Yeah. A friend of mine from a craft club I belong to 
Is this a diversion from the candy dish? No, it kind of. Okay. I'm going around the just turn checking. around for a minute. Just hang with me, okay? <laughs> she made cookies at a, one of the craft meetings we went to, okay. and they were the best ever cookies. Well, the, I said these are the best ever cookies I've ever, ever, ever had, and they're like this thick, oh. chewy. You can tell they had mm. cereals in them and all this oh. kind of stuff. And she said, just go on the internet. They're called the best ever cookie. Okay. Well, I go on the internet and I type in best ever cookie. Uh -huh. And I'm telling you, two million recipes came up, <laughs> best ever cookie. And they weren't. They had the best ever coconut, the mm -hmm. best ever chocolate chip, the best ever oatmeal, the best ever whatever. None of them were this recipe. So finally, Nancy, you've got to send me this recipe. She said, girl, I'll text it. I said, just take a picture. Text. It. I'll text it to you. She texted to me. So I made, it makes a huge batch of cookies. Can you send me a cookie? I'm getting there. So my husband and I are going to drive. We live in El Paso, Texas. She if you know anything night. about Texas, uh, it's big. big. That's big. You know, everything's Texas big in Texas. Big. So we're going to drive from El Paso, Texas to Del Rio, Texas, because it's in the path of totality for a the eclipse. eclipse. Now, it's supposed to be cloudy as all get out and rainy. Yeah. Thought about you, Molly. But like, I'm thinking I'm going out with my boyfriend, so I don't care if it's cloudy or rainy. Yeah. We'll just pull off to the side. But <laughs> enjoy the trip. But anyway, so. Do you wear uh, that shirt? I don't know. But anyway, so I make this big batch of cookies. Uh huh. And I'm thinking, surely, you know, that was what, Monday? Kathy and I are going to get together Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Surely Sunday. there would be one surely left. Surely there would be some left. Well, let me tell you, those are the best ever cookies. <gasps> you need but to there's the none left. You they are delicious. The but it uses, um, of course, flour, sugar, sure. brown sugar, you know, Egg. vanilla, eggs, butter, and a lot of butter. And then Ooh. it uses uh, cornflakes, rice krispies, oatmeal, coconut pecans, whatever. Throw something else in there. And pecans. You can we put chocolate the chips in there. Pecan capital of the world. Yeah. Those were the best ever cookies. Yeah. So that was one thing I don't have a sample of for you. But okay. my intentions were sure to have one. But even my <laughs> husband, who is not a sweet eater really, he, when he, he, he too? if he eats sweets, it's like he'll eat oh, I'm such a sweet like jelly eater. beans till he's sick. You know, he wants pure sugar oh, okay. and then nothing. And then oh, honey, he loved these cookies. He liked them. He huh? loved them. Okay, hey, so John, <laughs> yeah, I heard you got my cookie. Yeah, forget he ain't gonna answer. <laughs> so then the next story I want to tell you about having. Something about you. sharing my candy bowl. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm boring you over the story. So, Kathy comes over. She first thing she does sniff around for where's, where's, the, God, where's candy? the candy? Where's I the forgot candy? you candy. I have candy in the kitchen. I can uh -huh. get some Jerry Dellies. Anyway, at this last luncheon that we had for mm -hmm. the craft club, you know, I made these glasses for everybody. Oh, yeah. and, you know, with their yeah. Did they on. like them? Oh, of course, of course. Uh, so I made them for the women who run the activities, the different different all the different games and activities we do in the club and all right. as an appreciation luncheon for them. So the luncheon was very nice. Well, in front of each activity chair, there was a teacup and it had little kisses and things yeah. in it. Well, the girl who brought the kisses, Debbie, brought, she didn't just bring chocolate kisses. No, 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 no. She brought cookies and cream and oh, all okay. this stuff. But one of the flavors she brought was brownie. Have you had no. the new brownie kisses? No. I did not think you could make a better kiss than the original Hershey kiss. Hershey kiss. I got to tell you. Those brownie kisses are deadly. I'm going to trail off here with Molly because at Christmas time they put out, Hershey puts out the Christmas bells. Oh, uh huh. That are the white chocolate with peppermint chips, but then they have the coating of the chocolate on the bottom. I did not like know that. Like a little eighth of an inch, the round circular part is what di to die for. Do you think you can find them? Well, that's what I'm thinking. I'm telling you about this. I got to get online and order me some. I know. So, some, so today I'm thinking I've got to, I'm going to save Kathy some of those kisses. Are they gone? I did not have the willpower. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well. Uh, there's some plain ones if you want. <laughs> I got some Jerry Jelly in the kitchen. In the other room. But anyway, if, oh, those bro if you are a chocolate lover and oh, like yeah. Hershey's chocolate, which is sweet, um, mm -hmm. those brownies. I swear I could be a bean pole if I got rid of all my sugar. I would be a bean pole. Well, well, yeah, you know. Yeah, it would be a bean so, pole. Anyway. So anyway, okay. Now back on track. Moving back. So that was. So I had my uh, bird. I showed you my bird. Yeah, and we talked about your and my, my witch. Your witch. Can I show one more? Yes, of okay. course. Oh, yeah, I love this one. I told you my Hobby Lobby story. Yeah, there's and always a story. They had a boo boo. Hashtag. There's always a story. There's always a story. So they had a boo boo mm -hmm. and had to redo the frame and all and. Oh, is her name Abby? I think her name's Abby. I don't know. She's very nice. Long She's hair, so nice. Long, black hair. Long, yeah. pretty, pretty woman. Mm -hmm. And then Ian was the young man yeah, that waved on her. They could not have been any nicer and all this stuff. So anyway, they finished. They finally got finally And got look how in. pretty it is. And 
It's a little, this looks more pink in this frame than it, I was hoping it did. Well, and honestly, it's but not it's coming done. across the screen. It's coming across brighter in the screen than what it actually, it's very more subtle. Oh, it is. Yeah. It is coming across brighter. Yeah. But the, well, anyway, the it's frame finished, is so happy day. Yeah. So Oops, the frame, sorry. what I did was I bought a wooden, wooden frame, but I had him put in this little fillet. And that's what caused the trouble originally. Oh, he hadn't the, allowed for the yeah, fillet. The fillet so there. you see how close we were? So the the last frame was like a... Very, yeah, just that. Oops. You couldn't have, you know, couldn't have gotten away yeah. with it. But I mean, I wanted that fillet to add just a little ta-ta, you know. I almost brought with me... I love it now. It's very pretty. It. So I'm moving my <laughs> flea market uh -oh. up. Wall redo. Gonna, yeah, I'm going to move my flea market up. Redo. And this is going at the bottom. It's very pretty. So that's love another finish. I do, finish. I love it. Yeah. One more very finish. Very cool. And then I got a frame I ordered for my uh, bee. <laughs> Somebody said I get a prize for uh, patience. You ain't good for endurance. For oh, I got a story bee. about um, endurance. But, uh, uh oh, there's a thread on the floor. Where'd it come from? Um, I went to Savers though and picked up two frames, which is our not goodwill, but yeah, other. yeah. two frames. And my husband took the glass out, we threw the junk away inside. And one's even done so well, it, it has I don't know what you call it, but it meets like this like mm -hmm. pieces of the wood go like this mm -hmm. in each corner. So you really couldn't have it cut down, you could, but you wouldn't get that pretty inlay of wood. Mm -hmm. Intersecting into each other, but and savers and is I'm our uh, telling where people bring their stuff with There's some the really cool smaller. Well, we got to you, go. Yeah, we got to go. We need to go. Okay. So you're gonna show you were gonna show something else. You said no. I don't know. Nope. I have uh, my haul is so ridiculous I can't begin to. And then I had one other discussion <laughs> I wanted to have. Well, I have a well. Okay, we were on. Well, we have a story to tell. I'm gonna tell the story first. So, I ordered this um, from Work. Stash Unloading. Because so I, yes I want to new adventure. Yeah, I want to travel. I told my husband, I said we're too young to be sitting around this house, so we better. Speaking of travel, I have a story there too. So anyway, I bought that on Stash on Molding, and the, <clears throat> this does not look like Kathy no. Bourne. My husband said to me, he saw this kit there, and he goes, "This looks a little elementary for you," because you all know I stitch these monsters. That um, are so Stanford, vintage, prim. You know, and we've got four-sided cross. It's got a UV got, book. But band. I thought, wouldn't this look absolutely adorable, stitched tiny on 40 pounds? Just teeny Are you going to use those colors, too? I don't know. I'm going to have to take a look. Your color. So, anyway, I, I, I got Molly one, too. Check this one out. It, they made this so, one for me. I know. Just for Molly. Can y'all read what that says? <clears throat> It says... I'm not a hot mess. I'm a spicy disaster. <laughs> <laughs> it's just cute. I can't it's wait. It's just cute. And I, I am going to do it just like I'm this. I'm definitely going to make mine much, much smaller so and tinier, and I might not use the colors. But I, I could... I was like, first of all, I really... I did like the RV, and I love the... We have hot air balloons in our backyard. Every once in a while on well, the nearest Saturday and is Sunday there. morning... You can see people with hot air balloons way up in the sky. So it kind of reminds me of, you know, a little bit of what I want to do down here and what we see. But this was perfect, perfect, perfect. Look at the that. colors for mine. <laughs> like, can you see how okay, pretty bright really, those colors bad. are? I know. Oh, it's I can't fun. wait to do mine. Kathy, so anyway, thank you so much. It's fun. I'm a spicy defense. So back like to um, Paisley and Polka Dots. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> no, no, that's fine. Just, You're I'm good? Serious. Yes. Mm -hmm. So for those that you watch Floss Tube, Helen D., um, has a wonderful floss tube. She's uh, her finishes are gorgeous. I, are. I look at them and I'm like, can I go back and see that again? Because how she finishes them up, they're beautiful. She uh, typically stitches on a, an eight o cloth or a Lugana or a Monaco. Um, I know she's got her favorites that she will tell you about. But anyway, she and um, uh, Aaron Elizabeth and Cobweb Corner are going to be hosting a stitch along, a sal, for this design. Isn't that adorable? I just fell in love with it. Okay, so Erin Elizabeth Aaron is who Liz did the is design. Erin Elizabeth is a designer. Uh -huh. Yep, and this is Bee Farm. And she's all, uh, what I, I thought this was adorable. It's not showing up really good here, but this is all crackled and painted. And I'm sure you can make it more rustic-y as you want it. And then... You can order this pattern through Cobweb Corner. Helen D's talked about it on her floss tube, and she's got all kinds of links on it. And then this is the Beehive Hut from Paisley and Polka Dot that 
Erin Elizabeth will be doing a so it's all video floss yeah. tube, and I think she, I think she's just gonna do a video and then post it on how and how to paint and how to assemble this. Didn't they? I think Helen and the other two ladies got together. They had a live. They had a Zoom already, but and then they not, posted that YouTube. They posted oh, it on did, YouTube. Did they post it already on how to do this? I think so. I know they did a Zoom, but I didn't know that this was done already. I think anyway, they did. Helen D also has the colors of paint that apparently you can buy at Michael's and then also the crackle. But then I went and I was at the dollar store and I bought this because I want to put it, I don't want my back plain. So that's going to go on the back of it, this. I'm just going to finish it up and stitch, put and it on the back. I don't know if y'all noticed because I'm looking at it back. There's honey dripping yes. off the corner. And there's honey dripping up here too. That is, yeah. how so cute is she that? Tells, I think there's maybe like four or five colors of paint. Um, of course you can paint it any way you want and then One, the two, crackle three, and she, she'll have uh, she'll have the video up there on how to how to paint this and crackle it. So Helen D, Floss Tuber, um, Erin Elizabeth, Cobweb Corner to be able to purchase the I didn't crackle my witch. I could have crackled my you witch. You could still crackle her if you wanted. Honey, I opened so, that thing up and started slathering on paint as fast as I could. I was Done. so excited to finally have it. And I don't know if you noticed, but one of the things I love about little old paisley and polka dot, like, see this candy corn? I don't know if you can tell, but it's, it's two so layers. Cute. And then the little star. There's so many dimensional. Little, it's dimensional. It's yeah. cute things. I mean, yeah. the buckles and the leg and the pieces legs. are all separate and all. Yeah, the dimensionalness. And I think that's what I like so much about the beehive is because there's dimension in there, too. I'm scared to do anything to this now. I don't, I don't know if I would. It's adorable That's what the way I'm, it the is. Next one. That's what I told yeah. her. The bad news is uh, I got to the next yeah. one. I'm, I got to paint again. Yeah. I'm not a painter, but I had to paint that. So I'm going to crackle. Okay. So that I can put away. Okay, this is so still that was, all. Okay. Uh, okay. What do you have a beautiful haul of fabric. I do. And there's a story. So yesterday morning, my husband and I talked about just let's take a drive up to Rio Dulce, New Mexico. Honest to God, you get a taste of Wisconsin when you drive up there. Beautiful scenery, and then it's woody and, and evergreens and trees and pine trees. And, and mountains. And it's, yeah, mountains, and it's 10 degrees cooler. People love to go up. They call it just going up to the mountains. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I get up early. I, I get the night before I pack up stuff for the dog I get up early take my shower get in the car we're ready to go go get gas we get over the Franklin Mountain here and Ralph goes oh no the alarm went off for the toy tire pressure on the one oh tire. yeah mm -hmm. and at first he's like oh we've had a little bit of a hiccup with that thing anyway and not always sure if it's for real or not mm -hmm. but anyway so we and Ralph's very methodical he was an electro electronic <clears throat> electric electrical engineer for ages so everything is like by the books you know maybe that's why he ended up marrying me because I'm by the books when it comes to stitching and redoing and anyway so we first pull over to the gas station and he's looking around and then we decide no we're not gonna get air it's, it's probably fine and I said well I could go over to Lowe's and get a tire pressure thing I'm like why did you take the one out that was in here but anyway we got a new one he said it's really low and of course he's you know very concerned now and you know, an hour is like gone by. So then he's, we're back by the tire pressure thing because now we need to get back over the mountain to get home, to get home. And he finds a screw somehow. And there's so much construction around here. So it's, I, you know, if it wasn't a nail, it's gonna be a screw, whatever. Find a screw and on the way back home, he's like, well, we could go next week. And I'm like, what? Next week? I'm ready to go now. Let's just get the other car. and. High tail, you know, that's beautiful outside. It's the day's kind of mm -hmm. shot. So that was what we ended up going. Um, and I'm glad we did because it was a beautiful drive. And some friends mm -hmm. called us from up north and said, Hey, we're in our RV, we're out in Colorado, headed down to Flagstaff. And I was just glad we were on the road and, you know, that's enjoying, a, enjoying a beautiful day and with my date. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it was nice to get out. So I went to um, Martha's in Reed, also has a wonderful array of fabrics some old-fashioned things her trim you walk in there and it's kind of like a what do you call it you've been in there it's like granny's attic i don't yeah. want to sound silly it's, it's a treasure trove. it's not organized no, by the fabric any sense of the, the word fabric, the yeah fabric it's just, just, just fun the more fun. you dig the more you find mm -hmm. and and definitely did i find so and she has a wall of buttons those little oh yeah with buttons. 
buttons oh, and but the trims is what and I did buy quite a few trims but I did get some fabric because I'm gonna um, make some more project bags now that I have a couple down but this is probably my absolute favorite piece of fabric check this one out is that not gorgeous and it says you are the Sun the moon and the stars and Isn't then I pretty? it's so pretty and then I got some really cool trim to go with it but that moon is and then it's raining and there's mushrooms and and dragonflies and it's not coming across here quite as and the lee I mean everything is just beautiful, beautiful. But it is very pretty so that's one picked up a couple ornaments Picked up a couple ornament pieces. It's a Jason Yenter for In the Beginning Fabrics. Fabrics, 2023. In the Beginning Some fabrics. ornaments. You can all use an ornament. I picked up, and this I thought was kind of botanical looking too, and I love the red. This is hedgehogs and bunnies. It's coming across a little bright. It's not quite that bright, but squirrels, bunnies. Oh, it is coming across bright. Mm -hmm. oh. Really bright. It's not Hedgehog. that bright. Hedgehogs. This, you know, bicycles, very French looking. I know there's a machine embroidery piece out there that I can get to go with this. This is not that bright either. And then, I, of course, then I went to Situation. She had a couple bolts on sale. Look at the pretty lace. I know I'm gonna be able to do something with that. That's very pretty, yeah. Kathy. And then guess what's coming? The colors on that I'm are stunning. Beautiful. Turkeys. Oh, yummy. The turkeys are yummy. Gotta have the turkeys. And then, but before the turkeys come, the witches and the bats and the ravens and the mice and the rats. And how cute is that? Isn't that adorable? That's adorable. Adorable. And this one kind of matches that first line. I think it is from the first line. This oh, is again more be. more moons and. That's yeah. gotta be it, partner. Yeah. So, that was my fabric haul. And fabric's definitely gone up. Ooh, mm -hmm. but boy, they're coming out with just more and more uh, beautiful designers. Yep, thirteen. Or, or designers creating beautiful fabrics. I don't mm -hmm. know if the designers are beautiful. They may be. I know. Okay. And then um, I had a couple friends give me things. I can do that, or do you want to do your? Oh no, I'm ready. I'm okay. So um, I want to see. Y'all know I like crazy little things. Um, Patty, Patty Pope, from our church back up in Wisconsin reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested in this box and I'm like are you kidding me I'll walk up there to get this box <laughs> <laughs> um old this was uh this was um you can probably tell it's velvet grandmother's maybe. box yes it's velvet very worn velvet not sure what this was my sister thinks it may have been a hair box uh -huh. a hair um like a comb barber box set or something. yeah mm -hmm. maybe but it's just cool. It's got things that are yeah, like to hold, hold something. Thing. So mm -hmm. something long went there yeah. or two shorter things or something. Yeah. So that's and, uh, cool. It's got a ring here that mm -hmm. held something. Yep. A certain size. And then I went to quilting on Wednesday. There's something. Oh, it's you can see the outline of the mirror. Oh, yeah. yeah you can see the outline of the oh, mirror. Oh, sure. There was and a mirror in there. There was a mirror and You're it's You're absolutely right. There was a mirror. Look, the metal things that hold it. Yep. See? Yes. Oh, I'm so glad I brought it over. I haven't, can you see? Yeah, there's, there's metal the mirror, things, and, and then here's the, the handle thing. down there. You can see the eye of the mirror. <gasps> very cool. That is very cool. Yeah. So Wouldn't I'm not going to do gorgeous. anything to it. I might put some cool trinkets in there. Yada yada yada. Just to, it's beautiful. Yeah. The color very is pretty. just divine. Very I mean, pretty. Divine. That's how. And then I went to quilting on Wednesday, and y'all know I talked about um, the Kimber Bell quilted basket pattern. And I know somebody, uh, one person made a comment on our comments that she went immediately and bought the Kimberbell pattern for this. They are adorable. She, so if you remember a while back, Molly and I were making, um, making um, little sewing travel things to go and I had made this plaid. I love the, the country look of the plaid, yada yada, but we've got all of our sewing tools in there for travel and I need a ditty bag to put my project in cute little ditty bag here oh, I've got my little floss card ditty bag and then um I know isn't she it's remarkable? a really cute she ditty is bag. Remarkable. so and then I have my red hoop my red glasses for travel but then my friend 
Karen made me the little fabric bag from Kimberbell. This is the medium um, to put in my goodie bag for my orts. And you know what? This works really good for your little scissors, your orts, your threads, your glasses. It's just cute. I it's like, just cute. It's so crazy how something so little can give you so much joy. Mm. That's beautiful. So, it's just beautiful. It's just fun. It's just fun. And then I have my a couple little haul pieces, my color and cotton, which Molly and I walked to the mailbox today and got. I haven't even opened them up. They're beautiful. They are and beautiful. And I'm in the primitive neutral. I'm sorry, I'm club. taking this. Yeah. You go ahead. Primitive neutral color. They're very pretty. And I would highly recommend if you're looking to build your floss, it's an easy way to kind of budget your way through collecting threads and the color and cotton fab, uh, threads and fabric are beautiful. Threads are wonderful to work with. Classic Colorworks is my favorite um, and this is my really close second. Mm. You know, there's They're just so some pretty. things you attach yourself to. And then um, one of my friends on Facebook sent me this pattern. Um, she said, Try you know what, I'm just going to send it to you. I had commented about how much, la -da, how much I liked it. She said, I'm just going to send it to you. So thank you, Nat, for that pattern. Isn't that pretty? Um, I love the fabric and the frame. Too. And then I've got some haul. My little kitty cat. Isn't that it's adorable. Oh, cute. I got, uh, and I don't have one for St. Patty's Day when I put out my little. So I got St. Patty's Day going on. And, and then I'm going to put one more book. This is really cool. Molly's going to want it. Mm -hmm. um, some wonderful patterns in here. A little radish uh, scissor holder. But uh, the one thing that I really thought was kind of cool, and I might do this small, smaller needle book. Can I see it? Can yeah. I see it? That's uh, Pure and Simple, maybe Bonami. Bonanami. Uh. It's really cool. And we were talking wool, and I will bring Molly over some wool pieces that are have a little oh, more plaid and what yeah, have you too. Huh. So when we get done making your project bag, you can put all your wool pieces in it. And I sent Kathy <laughs> or showed Kathy a link to, uh, on YouTube, I was watching... Um, Oh, I'm gonna forget their name. God darn it! Who is that? Anyway, but they showed those uh, housewives that they were making oh. with all the different laces and oh, yeah. uh, felts and things. Oh my gosh! I said I am so hungry to, to use dive some in. of these uh, felts and things to do that. And then my husband and I uh, made a trip to Harbor Freight because it's his birthday on Sunday. So I said let's go shopping. So we did. But you know, I go down the aisles and I can find all kinds of things at Harbor Freight that are somewhat related to our little crafts. This is great if you have a serger. For looking underneath or surging your machine, sometimes you have to thread it that way. I know my mother-in-law just had one of the makeup ones, and I'm like, oh, this is cool. It's telescoping, plus it's got the mirror on it. That's cute. And then, you know, we always like to do our charms to our uh -huh. project bags, and this has got a little bit more heavy-duty, but it's very, very teeny, tiny, narrow, and it really is just a second one that... It really you know, does narrow. And for out. Harbor Freight, you know, and the prices you pay are half the price oh, of, yeah. mm -hmm. of that. So, I have... Just one more thing. So you go ahead. I only had one more thing, and it's nothing. But anyway, my question to you is, I had heard a rumor that uh, Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop is into uh, stitching on Monaco now. Oh. And even weaves. And because uh, Priscilla and Chelsea, I may be making this up, but I swear this is what I remember. They prefer to stitch on a Monaco. Or I think I heard that, too. I think you're right. Mm -hmm. So... You know, I buy some of my crafting supplies from a place called OfficeSupply.com. It's an I online did not shop. I know that. It's an office supply place. But I get a lot of scrapbooking papers and a lot of like, I, the glues I didn't and know tapes that. and all stuff. They have great prices. Um, if if you if you know there. anything about crafty stuff or some Spellbinders is a you know good brand that everybody buys. They have their better press for like twenty bucks or thirty bucks cheaper than anybody else has. Oh, good place to shop. Anyway, so they do Ada. So I sometimes I'll get some Ada there and all good price. Well, they had this package of DMC Monaco. Is it supposed to be this stiff? <laughs> is that the... Oh, I've good. heard them say that one of the reasons they like stitching on is it's stiff. I stitch in hand. Yeah. I think I can see the square. Like, I can Me see the squares that. without it. That's stiff. Do you think that that will loosen up for over well, time? Well, I said it's going to... I don't know. We're going to find out. Yeah, I think it will. Well, yeah. Okay. So maybe after I... I would bet that your stitches even. are going to lay really nice on that. Well, though. that's what I'm going to try. So yeah. I'm going to be a big girl mm -hmm. and try to... I have tried linen two or three times without telling this young lady. 
because I don't want to be embarrassed, but I can't. My I would eyes never are embarrass too you to that. I have two different, you know, I had cataract surgery, retinal surgeries in each eye. They're just, you know, they're pasted back together. Um, and one eye, because after cataract surgery, they put in a close lens and one eye is far away. So when I try to look like with four times or six times magnification, it, I get a headache. Oh, I get, yeah. the stress I level goes up. sixes And my stress level goes up. But like when I'm <clears> using <throat> magnifying glasses, I can go up to fours and I'm okay. But I've tried the, like some fours and mm -hmm. sixes. My eyes are going, no, you know, because they're two what different. Is, yeah. yeah, they're two different. They don't work together. Yeah. But anyway, but so I think I think I can try this. So it's a 28 count. Yeah. So am I go, going over two or one? Two. I would go over two. You so can that's a go over count. one. Uh -huh. You can. I mean, so because some of these patterns that I have bought where they have those little bitty letters. Yeah. They tell you to go over one. Yeah. You and can then do the rest over two. One. So I could do that on Monica. The holes are really defined nice on it. So you're going to be able to, you know, if you go over one, you're going to see it. Okay. And so, this was the tea dye color. The it color is a name woven. Is tea dye. So you always have a tendency of, you know, losing your thread. The trick to with an over one when you're stitching is just don't pull it tight. What do you mean lose your thread? What does that because mean? Because a lot of times so I can see that clears the bell. Yeah, but sometimes because it's woven like this, if you sometimes you're going to lose your thread underneath if you pull it too tight. Oh yeah. Okay. That happened with me with some yeah. of the linen because the linen mm -hmm. that I tried on is loose weave. Yeah. So it was it was moving All where my thread was moving. So this feels just firm. don't. In fact, on my Matilda Swallow, I have got that whole verse is over one except for like the beginning word is over two. But just don't pull your thread tight. You can kind of almost feel when you're there not to pull it anymore. So several sweet, sweet comments. Oh yeah. About you know that I stitch on Ada and oh yeah. You know like Ada Stitchers Unite. You know yeah. that kind of thing. But uh, did you watch or did you have a chance to see the um, from the uh, antique needle worker? I did. Her her. her she her had a class and, on linen yeah. and threads and all. <clears throat> I gotta tell you. I, it made me feel like validated or something. Oh yeah. That she started out showing all the Ada she had. Sure. I was like, oh, I feel like a big girl. I, like I said last I time, know. I think we all, for the most part, there wasn't linen to pick from back in the 80s when we but started. But some of these Ada she has are, or ha halves. Yeah. Some of the Ada she has, or they were pretty new colors and oh, yeah. new vendors and all this stuff. So yeah. I was thrilled to see that Well, someone, and vendors, if they're into marketing, People like to stitch on Ada. Why wouldn't you produce it? Yeah. So, so the other thing I got, I teased Kathy. I said, talk about, I just wanted to see the colors. You know, I'm on the hunt for colors. Uh, they had, of course, they had a full line of DMC. So I bought me some 14 count uh, sand, which I think is, a, I'm going to like that. You mm -hmm. know, some fall, something's going on that. And then I bought a little piece of oatmeal because I had stitched something on oatmeal and liked it. And this was like $5 or something. It wasn't much, a 15 by 18 inch piece of Ada. So that was my, you know, cheesy fabric haul. But it was, it's all well, good little said, rustic colors. I'm getting ready for she fall. She said too, she, you know, some of her fabrics were not very expensive. <coughs> and linen, <coughs> I don't even know what it is per inch. I used to know back in the day. All I know is you can spend 30 bucks on mm -hmm. a half of a, a fat half. Well, that's a fat quarter. Mm -hmm. so, so at the end of the day, it's added up. Now, we're into this by just in an hour. If y'all still hung with us, appreciate it more than you could ever know. We didn't say it at the beginning, but I must say, we're not finished. Don't leave. No, but, don't uh, go yet. Thank y'all so, so much for coming So let's talk about back. our tags. No, <clears throat> but Kathy's about to show something. Yeah. I don't stitch in a hoop. I don't use a Q-snap, and I don't use scrolling rods. So, but I want y'all <clears throat> to see this. We talked about this a little bit last week, and then all of us, well, last time we talked, last time we videoed, um, about that my hands were really bothering me, especially after mm -hmm. doing the hand sewing on the quilts. Mm -hmm. And I've had carpal tunnel surgery, so I said, I'm thinking I'm going to want to start stitching in a stand, using a stand of well, some sort. you can sort. do this. Yes, you can do this. You can, yeah. So you're not cramped, you're not holding tight to any specific thing. So I had done some research. There's all kinds of stands out there. But after we taped ours and show it. All of a sudden, Liz Matthews got a stand. Vonna Pfeiffer has a stand. Uh, who else had a stand out there? I don't know. It's like when you're pregnant, it's like, everybody's pregnant. Oh my God, everybody, white car, everybody yeah, has a white car. Don't drink the water. Yeah. I had been looking at W stands, and you can see the, I think you can see the box behind me. 
I will tell you, my stand came absolutely beautifully packed, very prompt. The communication was wonderful. Which stand, you know, would work for me? The one I'm going to show you is the oak because it has some, uh, a couple variations. The oak will hold my hoop. It'll hold a frame, a scroll bar frame, and it will hold a Q-snap, which I don't use. But if I did, if I ever wanted to try a Q-snap, I know that this particular mm -hmm. stand. So the cool thing about this company is made in the USA. It's all, they're all teak. They're beautiful. And there's one thing my mom always told us kids when we were growing up and I started sewing, and I'm gonna tell my seam ripper story, mm -hmm. started sewing Barbie coals when I was, I don't know, five, six. Right. I was matching plaids and stripes mm -hmm. and everything back then. And I remember getting into junior high Starbucks domestic and my domestic teacher, I had made something, stitched something wrong and I wanted to rip it out and she was pin, picking it with a needle. And I'm like, oh my God. And I said, I would probably use a seam ripper to, to rip that out. And she quite frankly didn't think that I knew what a seam ripper was at that point, but I was already sewing ponchos and, oh my God, lace on ponchos and those ball fringes on ponchos. And I, she said, what would you do if you didn't have your seam ripper? <laughs> I can't go buy one. I go get my mom and we go buy one <laughs> instead of sitting here picking it out. But anyway, my mom always said if you're going to buy something, buy the best you can afford um, and buy it for what you love. Mm -hmm. And I think part of stitching for me is, and maybe it's because I've been stitching for so long, is I also enjoy the, the quality of things that come along with a good piece of fabric or linen or scissors, and in this case, the stand. I was like, oh my God, the stand in and of itself is a piece piece of art. So it's a piece of art. It's a piece of art. So W stand. So I like I said, I have the oak. Um, th these are made out of teak. He uses all teak. And the cool thing about his stands, if you go to his website, <clears throat> which is wstands.com, he names them very naturally. So we have the frog and the oak. Now they're all different setups. So we have the frog and the oak. And then we have um, different accessories, but there's the pine, the juniper, and the elowen. So you can see he's very nature related. But look at the curves of these stands. They're like art in your front. She's going to show you the stand in a minute, but in she's minute. just doing but the I biggest just, build up. I want to tell you about it. And then who they are, they talk about why they got into it. Um, they have a blog, they have a wonderful. Um, presentation on how to assemble this. It comes partially assembled, but some great, um, and every one of their designs is out there on a, uh, YouTube so that you can figure out how to use it. But I wanna show you this stand, and this is my... Oh my gosh, that's so it's just pretty. beautiful. And when Kathy got here, it was folded down. Yeah. So I like gonna, a piece of art. I want to just just put it in the stand. So it's basically by pressure that this will. Okay, so you can see how loose that becomes. But if you put it to the area and the height that you want your stand to be, you just push this up, and you've got pressure there. Okay, what she's pushing up is, is, is this handle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See this handle? So yeah. she's pushing that up, and then, and there's, then there's one for the at bottom. Now, if you hold the stand for me, uh -huh. so I got it. I'm gonna move it down and you can see it lands down. Look how pretty that piece it's is. It's just like, it's like a lady. It's, I said it looked like a swan or something. Yeah, it's like just, it does, it looks like a swan. It's just um, beautiful. So, Feels so pretty. mobile to sit, to sit with you on, mm -hmm. on the sofa. So this is the piece that then would hold your hoop as well as your two snap because this is adjust, this is all adjustable here. Now, if you wanted to use your scroll bars, which I have some bigger girls that are, and I'm going to need to, or I said to mommy, <laughs> you need to order the scroll bars because they're beautiful too. Um, so this piece uh, comes off. You use this the screws here, but then you take that piece off, and then here is your, or it would actually go like this. Yeah. Is your, no, I lied. Can it's I go, go back like a little yeah, bit? It's yeah, it's going to go yeah. like this so that your scroll bars, and these are adjustable too. And you can Wider. see the hole, so you can see the holder. So you've got in, or out. in, out, smaller, higher, lower, longer. I mean, the quality of this work is phenomenal. So, and I think for people that are, for my age anyway, like I said, you know, we're all 
looking at our hands and like, oh, that really hurt stitching on that for a longer period of time. But looking, and also you can stitch practically double time if you do the stab at up and down method. If you get good yeah, at it. If, if you yeah. get good at it. Uh -huh. It's going to take me some practice, but I, first of all, I can't get over the beauty of it. Second of all, the quality of how it's made. But the versatility that we've got here besides this piece will allow me to do scroll bars, the hoop itself, as well as the uh, just look at the frog mouth looking thing. I and know. I don't want to scare y'all here and we'll get, you know, this thing feels so sensual. It is, <laughs> the wood is, uh, you know, I like it's wood. It's sanded. They're all sanded by but hand. But it's just velvet. Um, it feels like just gorgeous. There's a gorgeous. lifetime warranty on this piece. And nothing sharp. It's and just, I was going to tell you a little bit about the I don't stitch with a hoop. I know. You might want to now. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to start a huge stand. Hoop. It really um, feels And he good. does say there's a lot of embroidery stands and hoops holders out there. But basically, they, basically the use of it is the same. We're all looking for that same thing. Um, and he, like I said, his designs are just absolutely beautiful. I encourage you guys to go out to W Stands. Check out the... Um, Check out the why they ch they talk about why they he has a blog why they chose teak wood versus another type of wood um, durability well, teak wood obviously teak woods the fineness yeah. of the grain of teak wood is what's helping make this thing feel so and Danish fast. Danish um, well back up north anyway we have some beautiful Danish uh, shops for furniture mm -hmm. and Danish always is teak. Mm -hmm. Some type of teak and a little bit more modern, um, but this to me, it, it, this doesn't state modern antique or it's just pretty. It's just pretty. So, um, hope you guys check it out. Um, and I know that you can contact them through their through their website, and they have a good way to communicate that way um, and get back to you. Um, so far, my experience with W Stands has been very very good, and hopefully you guys. And they are offering a discount. I think he said for a month. Um, I might have to put that down in our review, in our in our and find out comments. The, find a out month the exact from when. Yeah, yeah, a month from when, but he's offering a discount. Like if it was the month of April, we're halfway through. Yeah, if it was the month um, from today. We tell him looking for launched. a stand, but yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna take my little. Uh, She's taking her stand. I'm taking my stand. Oh, I'm loving on this thing. Okay. Sensual or not to you, it's I'm, going I on. I didn't want to scare you, but I'm just saying it feels. <laughs> Very pretty. It feels good. A nice, nice really good. job. So, um, and good. then um, we have our tags. We're, we're still coming back with tags. Okay, Kathy has a piece she bought over there. Oh yeah. So she's gonna do something with. She finds the cutest things. Look at me, man. Look at that. So you let me get back a little bit further. Sure. Oh yeah. So what it is is what was it originally? I don't know. But it's got a little square opening in it, and then a beautiful set of. They're like little. I don't know that they're cherubs, they're, but little. Oh, I think they are. Little cherubs, cherubs maybe like out, little of cherubs a, out of a up or flower opening. But uh -huh. I'm gonna put, and I think I can find a flower frog that I can set in there to put my scissors in. Isn't that a beautiful piece? Little piece. So where'd you find that? If you tell. Saber. Are you kidding? Savers with my frames, my two frames that I bought. I am the worst shopper. I walked in Savers and it smells like my, you know, it smelled like my hands old closet or something. And oh, I walked out. I got oh, to get in there. This Savers is fine. Okay. The Goodwill here, not so much. Okay, I was going to say, not so much. I can't do no, that. No, but, uh, no, that's anyway, not, 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 that's not that's pretty. That's a terrible way to word it. My aunt was a sweet woman, but you know what I mean? That kind of like, yeah. it's been there too long. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. anyway, I think that's it for us today, Kathy. What else have you got? That's it. We, we will be back. Uh-huh. We will be back. From your mouth to God's ear, you know. Yep. And those of you who have been making floss tubes and all, I have been, I, I love that uh, Missy and Kathy and so, so many of them, so many of them, Jane and Julie, of course, from uh, Running With Scissors, um, they're, they mention all the floss tubers they're watching. We need to start doing that so yeah. we can share the love. Yeah, because we do, we do. Uh, uh, get um, some great ideas from them. Love some of their shows. You mentioned Celeste. I love her. Yeah, Celeste had great. some really good uh -huh. things on there. Um, Ellen D, of course, her video was just, mm -hmm. I, just, I always feel like I'm not working hard enough or something. That um, pumps them out. Who's the gal that was the doctor that retired? She always comments on our, on our um, floss tube. Is her name Susan? I don't know. Uh, 
I got you guys you probably know who she is. She's got shorter gray hair. She's she mm. she just retired as a doctor. I think she might have been a GP. Mm. Um, she she hasn't mentioned us, but she always comments on our floss tube. And there's two sisters, two I think they are two curious sisters. They're they've been around a little while, but I will tell you their floss tubes are really fun to watch. They get into a little bit of knitting. Um, they also and it's, you know, I'm going to just go one step further. I, when I first moved down to El Paso here, I was kind of lost. My needlework stores were up north. I didn't know about Mesa. Mm -hmm. The one over on Yarbrough over, over here closed. Anyway, long story short, needlework shops are evolving. They're mm -hmm. closing. Some are opening up differently. But we also, with those new ones that are opening up, have the knowledge that people are buying online. Mm -hmm. People are looking at reviews. This is how I found W stands. They're looking at what people say about them. So at the end of the day, I don't mind somebody showing me something that they found on the internet because you know what? That is the bulk of where we uh -huh. Amazon. Mm -hmm. I wish I didn't have to go to Amazon for certain things like my my zipper tape or my fold over elastic. But boy, I can sure get uh -huh. what I want. So mm -hmm. when you're searching. You kind of, and I think these new shops already know that, that are opening up now. They have that knowledge. People are going to, so they can plan accordingly. Whereas before, the people had all this inventory and people, and of course, needlework died down for a little bit. It wasn't as popular as what it was in the 80s. And now it's back. I mean, it seems like it's back with a vengeance and the designs are phenomenal. But you can get them online mm -hmm. for the most part. I don't, I can't say that I like that. But it's a fact of life. It's yeah, it is, and I, it's where where we are. Yeah, it I mean, is where we are. There's not enough of us going into these brick and mortar stores. They right. call them. I right. was in retail for a lot of years. Now. Yeah, it has evolved how people shop and all. How people so shop. if you if you can support a brick and mortar store, absolutely, and we do that too. Yeah. Uh, um, I, there's just okay. not as many to support locally as what there used to be, and I can't drive six hours to Mesa right. every time, or even when we do go back up north, there's a, a couple that are a little bit closer. I don't want to drive How two hours. How far is Rio Doso from uh, three Albuquerque? Half, three hours oh, from Albuquerque? Is it on the way to Albuquerque, or are we going no, two you're, directions? No, uh, two different directions. Oh, Albuquerque's... Because yeah, Albuquerque's yeah. got a couple of cross-stitch to yeah. us. But it's um, hours. So yeah, you're, we are kind of shopping around, and I don't mind when someone has a floss tube where they're showing you if it's what you like. Now, was there a moral to that. the story that you started? You were saying something about was there a comment on our floss tube or something about showing stuff, or where did why did that story start? There was a. Um, oh, I don't know. Okay, never mind. I just no, thought I maybe know. there was. I thought we were heading down a path for a minute, and then I got sidetracked. I okay, don't know. but anyway, I do. I noticed mm -hmm. some people have, have seen other floss tubers mention that uh, we talked about some. Floss some people tubers. like we're not oh, trying to sell y'all stuff. She was. She they they have their clothes. She. Like flax and linen tops and pants, they might model a really cute top. And sometimes, oh, I know who you're talking yeah, about. A couple, that, yeah, it's uh, two, two sisters. And sometimes, and they do the catwalk. On darn, I, we can't get that here. Mm -mm. Yeah, I, I mean, so, if so she's going to show me where I can go buy that. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to take advantage. Well, and I don't want to spend every penny I own, but uh, yeah. by the same token, I do want to see what's new and what's fun yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but so I, that's, I have, you're right. That's where I was going with okay. that. Yeah. So if people want to show stuff, like I said, we're not trying to sell you stuff. We're we're excited. No, we're about excited it. about so what we have and we're, we're sharing, sharing what we know. You know, kind yeah. of thing. But uh, even yeah. watching like. Uh, the antique needlework or showing all that fabric. Oh, well, sure, it's always. Oh a, my God, I wanted six of those colors. You, you can't. Know? Yeah, you can't mm -hmm. say someone's not gonna go and search that and buy it. Mm -hmm. Mo I, Molly shows me a Sizzix dye here. Well, what does Kathy do? She bad. knows how much she buys. Which is bad. Anyway, so. well, such is life. Well, the moral to the story <laughs> is thank you for going to say. Yeah. Thank it's you all so fun. much for watching and for coming back. This shirt is making it look. I just don't like this. Anyway, we're going to figure she that out. She wears that with her boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. He knows. Uh, okay. So anyway, thank y'all for yeah, coming back. Yeah, thanks for hanging around and back. coming comments back. comments are fabulous. Yeah, um, we love the comments. couple things. Pins that I use are three-quarter inch stainless steel pins. Oh, one and of the no, comments was... I did not knit my sweater. I do not know how to knit. I know how to knit. But because I'm so darn picky, my mm -hmm. tension's never good. So I was like, can't knit. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to show you something, Kathy. When I went to Basil Whimsy Court, yeah, Basil Court Whimsy, I can never remember. 
everybody else is buying bell. up all kinds of buying, and I'm just claustrophobic enough that you know I, we I have a club full of women in there. Oh, yeah. So I was like, I got to stay by the front door. I can't, you know, I'm, and I got to go make my little speech when it's my time or something. Anyway, but uh, I couldn't shop good or anything like that. Oh, but I found two things. She has one of her vendors because she gets them from different people around town that make things or something. But uh, does paper art and all. Well, I found these two things. I couldn't leave the store without them. I had to wait till everybody left before I paid for them. Anymore. But it's life is simple. It's just not easy. Oh, Isn't that sweet? It's perfect. A, on a piece of like handmade paper. Love the handmade paper. And it's so pretty, but it's life is simple. It's just not easy. You know, so uh, isn't that beautiful? I love it. And then this one, I said, who does not need, if you're from Texas, who doesn't need an armadillo in the rose bush? And the saying is, I'd rather have 30 minutes of wonderful than a lifetime of nothing special. Uh -oh. And it says Robert's uh, Harding. Yeah. But I think uh, Raquel and I were saying, we heard that in, uh, was that uh, Steel Magnolias? I think they used oh, that maybe. saying in Steel Magnolias. And all. But I said, but I, so I got to get this framed. You know, I'm going to mount it on another pretty piece of paper or something and find a pretty frame. Yeah. But an armadillo in the roses, that's just Texas. You know? <laughs> Texas. Have you seen so, them on the roads? Well, of course. Yeah. 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 Uh, and, uh, you know, there was a commercial one time about a lady one. that, uh, you know, she's got bad eyes and she doesn't have her glasses on and it shows her going outside to feed the cats and it's actually a possum out there. I said, I have never <laughs> seen a possum, you know, uh, <laughs> and it, and anyway, it's fun, but uh, I'd rather have 30 minutes of wonderful. Yeah. So sure. anyway, I don't think we have anything else nope, today. I think we got it covered. Uh, I got to get back to stitching. I got to get some things. I know. I got to, I got to, I got to make my moon project bag and then I got to put my sewing machine back upstairs and. But I have room now by my feet. Oh, isn't that a joy? Yeah. And what's bad so, is uh, when we were talking about OfficeSupply.com earlier, one of the reasons I was mentioning it is, uh, you know, we finally used up enough of my scrap of paper between all the cards I made and all the things I made for the different parties I'm going to and gifts for people and card classes I have or something. I finally made some shelf space, so I had to buy some more scrapbook paper. <laughs> and uh, OfficeSupply.com is a great place to buy scrapbook. Uh, they carry 49 in market if you're looking for fine quality, I'll heavyweight have to check it out. I didn't know style. that. That is a beautiful I did not thing. know that. But anyway. Yeah, so, so thanks for uh, coming back and hopefully you're subscribing and sharing and we're still not to 10 yet. I keep harping on oh, that. Oh, close. Getting like yeah. 500. So what she said is please like, share, yeah. and, uh, subscribe if you can. We just, I have such a cool goal to get to 10, and then I'll leave you alone. Okay, now I'm going to reach forward and see if I can hit the off button. Without using the mouse. Yeah, I, tr I always try to use my computer mouse. It doesn't work on my phone. I don't know why. It's not yeah. Okay, I did want to, one more thing I want to teach you all about. You know, when Kathy popped over last time, my room was such a mess. I'm like, you know, she says she's coming over, and, uh, in you know, she literally lives next door. So, I'm so, oh, no. so I'm scraping, much. I'm scraping and all. There was, uh, there had been a flower arrangement at the tea that we had. And oh. one of the teas we had, I had, de had to decorate three tables. And so I had real pretty uh, arrangements yeah. on each table, my flowers. After Kathy left, I look up there and I'm like, there is a dead flower. <laughs> a dead flower? <laughs> no, the fl arrangement was... <laughs> The oh. whole thing. So I'm like, well, if they know, I didn't they even noticed. pick up on that. I don't think anybody did. Well, good because it was. I don't you know. think anybody did. But Lindy of Lindy Stitches. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more thing. If y'all need three, uh, yeah. Weeks Dye Works came out with five colors of five new colors for the Nashville Market special. Yeah. And Lindy's of Lindy Stitches bought has bought quite a supply of them, and she's got a deal this weekend. If you go watch her latest video, this weekend is April. What the heck is the date today? Eleventh. Twelfth. Eleventh. So this yeah. weekend of April eleventh, uh, she's having a little special where if you buy that thread pack, is you get two dollars off something else or something. I don't know what it was, but there's <clears> we. If you're looking for those new weeks dye works color threads, she's got them. And she's got a lot of other real pretty things. It's the 12th. All. Molly it's was the right. 12th. Yeah. Okay. It's the 12th. Anyway, so but for this weekend only, she's got that special, and those thread colors are beautiful. And I don't know where the heck I was going with that. Story. I might have. Ha I might have the new weeks. So I'm gonna have to go home and. I was and going somewhere with that, but I got are lost. You? Yeah, I'm good. Woo! It's getting crazy. <laughs> but anyway, y'all have fun. Can't wait to see you again. Thank yeah. you for all the wonderful comments. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Yeah. And I've got the fan on. It's cold. I know. Here. I'm chilly. It's cold. All okay. Right. See you soon. Bye. Bye. -bye.